I'm Christina and welcome to my channel. I am very excited today because I think this video is going to be so, so helpful and I wish I had a video like this when I was shopping for my first pair of Christian Louboutin shoes. So I want to talk about everything sizing with Christian Louboutin. It is super confusing you guys, but luckily I have owned a lot of pair of Christian Louboutin shoes. Um, I've gotten rid of some, bought new ones. Anyway, I have a huge collection. So if you haven't seen my Christian Louboutin collection, you should definitely check that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down a few factors that if you didn't know, you need to know when it comes to the comfort of your shoes. And I'm also going to talk to you about a couple of the most popular shoes and what sizes you should get. And then at the end, I have a couple secrets to make those Louboutins a little more comfortable for you. So let's get into it. So I really want to talk about why Christian Louboutin shoes are so difficult to understand sizing. And that's because all of his shoes are different. So when you're shopping for luxury shoes, let's say from Gucci or Valentino, their shoes kind of like tend to run the same. So for example, if you're six in one style, you would think you would maybe be a six in another style. Um, and it kind of all is uniform. Well, with Christian Louboutin, that's not the case. Like all the different styles, you could be a totally different size. All my shoes from Louboutin run from anywhere five and a half to seven, which is a pretty big gap. So I'm hoping that this video is going to help you kind of like figure out what that gap is and how to purchase Christian Louboutin shoes. So I'm hoping that this guide will kind of answer some of these questions and not make you want to pull your hair out because it's so confusing and it was like that for me, but I think I finally have it figured out. So let's talk about a few factors that are really going to make a difference when you purchase your shoes. So there are three big factors that you need to understand when you are buying Christian Louboutin shoes or any you know shoe in general that's going to determine what size you are. So the first is the width of your foot. Do you have narrow feet, wide feet, or normal feet? And if you don't know, you can go to like any shoe place and someone will help you and tell you, do you know you have a wide foot or a narrow foot? It's kind of obvious though, <laughs> just look at your feet and you can kind of tell like, is your foot wide or is it very skinny? And um, it's kind of usually similar to your hands. Like I have very long skinny hands and then my feet are the same way. I kind of have long skinny toes. So another thing is your toe length. That's the second thing you need to consider. Do you have long skinny toes? Do you have kind of like normal toes or do you have like short stubby toes? That's also going to determine comfort, especially when it comes to those like very narrow pointed toe shoes. Like for example, with me, I have narrow feet, but with long skinny toes and really short toe boxes are very uncomfortable for me because my toes receive a lot of pressure on them because I have long toes. If you have short toes though, you're going to have the opposite problem. People with short toes can wear like closed to toe shoes pretty well without having a lot of pain. But when you have open toed shoes, you tend to have like this huge gap where you can like see the shoe and your toes don't fill it out and you have a harder time buying shoes like that. So the third thing you need to know that will determine your shoe size is the arch of your foot. So do you have a high arch, a normal arch or like a flat arch? So that's also going to determine comfort for you. So the reason why I'm talking about the factors is because it's so important whether you're watching my video, someone else's video, or reading on the line that not everyone is going to think the same shoes are comfortable. It really depends on those factors of your feet. So take this video with a grain of salt. I hope it's helpful, but what's comfortable for me may not be comfortable for you. So the next thing you need to know before buying Christian Louboutin shoes is the material. And there's three main materials. I mean, he does make his shoes in a lot of different materials, but the three most common ones are one is suede, the second one is kid leather, and then the third one would be patent leather. So both the kid leather and suede have a lot of stretch in them. So when you are buying a suede or kid leather shoe from Christian Louboutin, you kind of want to make sure when you first try it on, it has a snug fit to you. It should fit you like a warm, like big bear hug. That's how it should feel on your foot, like a big bear hug. And then that way over time, it's going to loosen and get really comfortable because it's going to stretch. 
If you like patent leather, that one is not going to stretch as much. So what you try on, that's kind of how it's going to feel for, you know, the rest of its life. If it might stretch a little bit, but it's not going to stretch a whole lot. So you want to make sure when you try those shoes on and when you first get them, they fit snug, but not too, too snug because they're not going to stretch a whole lot. Okay, so I hope those factors helped you determine what kind of foot you have and whether things are going to be comfortable for you or not. So if you have a wide foot, Christian Louboutin shoes tend to run narrow, so you are most likely going to have to go up in size. If you have a narrow foot, which is what I have, I tend to be more true to size in Christian Louboutin. And if you have just like a normal foot where you're not narrow, you're not wide, you might have to go up half a size or be true to size. It's probably going to depend on the shoe. And then for the toe box issues, like I said, if you have long skinny toes like I do, you're going to have to be a little more careful with the toe boxes and make sure that they're roomy enough for you. And if you have really short toes, then you're going to have a little more issue with the open toe shoes and finding, you know, that good balance between like not having enough <laughs> space for your toes. So a good place to start is to figure out what your general size is. So I am a true size six. That's normally what I am in most designers. To give you a size reference, in Valentino and Gucci, I do go up half a size in most of their shoes, so I'm usually a six and a half. Almost all of my Christian Louboutin shoes are a size six, and I run pretty true to size with them. However, there are a few pairs that I have to go up or I have to go down, and I'm gonna talk about those with you. All right, so let's start with the Christian Louboutin Pigalle. This is one of the most famous shoes from Christian Louboutin and it is the classic Pigal. It is not the Pigal Foley. The Pigal Foley has a little bit of a thinner heel. This one's a little bit thicker. I personally find the Pigal to be more comfortable than the Foley and even still this isn't the most comfortable shoe by Christian Louboutin. The Foley has a skinnier heel which makes it a little bit even more uncomfortable in my opinion than this one. So for this one I had to get a size 36 and a half. So I did have to go up half a size in the Pigalle, and it's also patent leather. So because it's patent leather, I also determined that I needed to go up half a size so that it would fit me appropriately. So if you have a narrow foot, you probably still are gonna be like me and have to go up half a size. If you have a wide foot, you probably may have to go up one full size from your true size. And if you have a normal foot, it could any, would probably be anywhere between a half a size to a full size. So I would think though, if you bought this in a suede or a kid leather material, you could probably get your normal size. Unless you have a wide foot, then maybe you would just go up half a size. So like I said, it really depends on the factors of your feet and whether you know you have a narrow foot or wide foot. As for the arch of your foot, that's really just gonna determine comfort. Um, and how well you can walk in them. Um, my arch is kind of like medium to high and I don't find these the most comfortable, but these also have a pretty narrow toe box and I have long toes. So to me, this is not the most comfortable shoe. However, people with wide feet tend to like this shoe. If you have a narrow foot, then you may love the Christian Louboutin Ariza like I do. I really like it because this cutout relieves some pressure. If you have a wide foot, I could see it may be uncomfortable for you because your foot is still going to have to fit in this toe box and it might spill outwards if you have a wide foot, which might make it very uncomfortable right here on your foot. Um, but like I said in this video, what's comfortable to me may not be comfortable to you. That's kind of what makes shoe buying so difficult is because everybody's foot is different. Nobody has the same feet and there's just so many different factors that make a shoe comfortable or not. But as for sizing on this, this shoe actually runs really big. So I had to go down to a size of five and a half in this shoe. And like I said, most of my shoes are a size six. I never wear a size five and a half, like rarely ever. So I had to go down and I went down a half a size in all materials because I also have this in the kid leather as well. And the suede does stretch more, but I still needed a five and a half in it. So you are going to have to go down anywhere from one half of a size to a full size 
depending on how narrow or wide your foot is. Next up, I want to talk about the Soke. I no longer own this shoe just because I find it extremely uncomfortable, mostly because of the heel height. It has a very skinny silhouette, and I just could not walk in it, so I sold mine. Um, but you will most likely have to go up one full size if your foot is wide because this shoe is super narrow. I had no problem with the shoe because I have a narrow foot. So if you have a narrow foot, you're probably true to size. I bought it in a size six. It fit beautifully. It was just very uncomfortable because it's a very high heel. It's about four and a half inches and it has a very, very skinny silhouette. Another thing to consider when you're purchasing shoes is how steep or chunky the heel is. So a chunkier heel is gonna give your foot more support and make it more comfortable. So when you see shoes that have really itty bitty stiletto heels, those are gonna be a little bit more difficult to walk in because you're gonna have to have better balance and you're not gonna have as much support. So the Socate definitely has a itty bitty stiletto and it's a very high heel at four and a half inches with no platform whatsoever. So to me, it was very uncomfortable, but for some people, they love it. It's a beautiful, sexy shoe, just not for me. If you have a wide foot, go up one full size, narrow feet, you're probably true to size. Up next, I wanna talk about the PVC. I love the PVC shoes. The PVC is just this plastic right here. Uh, Christian Louboutin makes a lot of those. I am a size 36 in this shoe and it fits really nicely and it's true to size and it's really flexible on your foot because this plastic actually molds into your foot and expands. So I love this shoe. I find it very comfortable for a high heel and it's one of my favorite Louboutin shoes. So definitely check these out and you are probably true to size if it's a PVC type shoe. So up next, I want to talk about Christian Louboutin booties. These are the Suzy booty. These are my favorite shoe right now. These have a three and a half inch chunky heel, which makes them my most comfortable Christian Louboutin shoes. And I absolutely adore these. I bought these in a size six, so they're my true size. They fit beautifully. These are a kid leather, so they stretch, so I did not have to go up half a size or anything like that. And if you have a wide foot, you may have to go up half a size just so it's a little more comfortable, but narrow feet, you should be fine. True to size, in other booties, you know, if, depending whether you're gonna wear socks, you may be on the safer side going up half a size, even one full size, depending what kind of socks you use. I like to use thin socks with shoes, so they don't really make a huge difference, but if you're gonna wear like really thick socks, then you might want to go up half a size. I think with booties, you have a little more leeway with sizing if you don't get it perfectly because it is a booty and you're wearing a sock, so it doesn't have to fit you as perfectly as a heel does. So the Christian Louboutin Cataglou wedges, I probably pronounced that incorrectly, but these are the wedges and it's the lower version and I love these. These are actually very comfortable as well because it's very easy to walk in with a small platform. These are true to size, got them in a size six. They fit beautifully, they're very comfortable. And these are probably a great shoe for narrow and wide feet because you will have a lot of breathing room with these and they're easy to walk in. I highly recommend these wedges for summer. They're super cute and they are true to size. So let's talk about a few secrets to keep your shoes comfortable. Christian Louboutin is not known for having comfortable shoes, that's for sure. So there, there are a few things you can do to make them a little more comfortable. And the first thing is to buy these ball pads that you can put in the top of your shoe, just where like the ball of your foot is. And it's a little cushion and they stick in there and it makes it a little more comfortable and a little more tolerable. Another trick you can do is you buy heel pads and you place them right here in the back of your shoe to help your heel. The only issue I have with that is that sometimes it makes your foot really tight in the shoe, especially if the shoe fits you already really perfectly, then it makes it worse. So that kind of is a trick if you buy a shoe that's a little smidge bit too big for you, then if you put a little heel sticker in the back, your foot will stay in place 
and you won't like move because it's when your foot is moving in the shoe you're going to build traction and you're probably going to get a blister back there so that kind of helps prevent that so if you open my description box i'll leave links to all of these things i'm talking about so my last and best trick is to use this spray it's the apple guard spray if you're going to be spending 600 plus dollars on a pair of shoes you want them to last for the rest of your life you don't want to worry about rain or snow or heat or any of the weather conditions out there. If you spray your shoe completely with this stuff, it will completely protect them. You won't have to worry about stains. I've gotten lipstick on handbags and shoes before and, um, you know, dirt and all types of stuff on my shoes. And I use this for handbags and shoes and I've been able to completely wipe it clean and it's amazing because this stuff protects it from everything. All you have to do is spray it down really good. And I actually have a video showing you how, exactly how to do that. If you're interested in watching it, I'll leave it in the description box. But this is a must. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful to you. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I talk all about fashion, shoes, and handbags on my channel. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.